Do you know the warning signs? When heart patients should revisit their doctor. Hi, I'm Christian from Cardiac Rehab Online, and in certain circumstances, it's appropriate to go back to your doctor to discuss your current health status. After a cardiac event, your journey back to normal life doesn't always go smoothly. Here are the signs to look out for when it doesn't. Okay, so we've got deteriorating exercise performance or functional capacity. Despite the apparent compliance with prescribed exercise regime and medication. Uh, secondly, we've got worsening of angina or development of what we call unstable angina, despite apparent compliance with the prescribed medication. Three, we've got worsening of other symptoms. For example, suspected arrhythmias, excessive breathlessness, despite compliance with medication. Any further cardiac event. Uncontrolled tachycardia. So that's when the heart rate or the beats per minute exceed 100 beats per minute, and that's at rest. So if you're sitting down and feeling calm, your heart shouldn't beat more than 100 times per minute. A heartbeat that's faster than this, also called tachycardia, is a reason to go to the emergency department and get checked out as soon as possible. Then we have resting systolic blood pressure. So the systolic blood pressure means that it measures the force your heart exerts on the walls of your artery each time it beats. And that's also the number on top or first when you get a blood pressure measurement. And that should not exceed 180. Something else to look out for is resting or diastolic blood pressure. And this measures the force your heart exerts on the walls of your arteries in between beats. And that's either the bottom number or the second number when you're checking blood pressure. And that should not be above 100. We also have symptomatic hypertension. Hypertension is high blood pressure in the systemic arteries, and that's the vessels that carry blood from the heart to the body's tissues. High systemic or body blood pressure is usually caused by the narrowing of the small arteries or arterioles. This can be identified by chest pain, headaches, and accompanied by confusion, blurred vision, nausea, vomiting, and severe anxiety. So these are all the factors that you should look out for and pay attention to, whether at rest or exercising, to ensure that you're safe and effective. And if you found that you do have any of these symptoms, that it's really important for you to go back to your medical professional and get checked out, have an assessment, and be on the safe side. Okay guys, thanks for joining me today in this mini vlog. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Goodbye.